What if humans weren't the first intelligent life on Earth? 66 million years ago, a cosmic catastrophe wiped the dinosaurs from existence. But what if one of them had survived? What if it had continued to evolve? Picture this, the late Cretaceous period, a world ruled by giants. Among them, a small bird-like predator called Truden. It was fast, it was agile, but most importantly, it was smart. It had the largest brain-to-body ratio of any known dinosaur. It hunted in packs using strategy, not just brute force. It had forward-facing eyes for binocular vision and slender, grasping hands. Sound familiar? Now imagine the asteroid never hit. Millions of years pass, the Truden doesn't go extinct. It evolves, its brain continues to grow. Its posture becomes more upright to balance its large head. Its hands become more dexterous, capable of making and using tools. Its reptilian scales soften, and its eyes, those intelligent, predatory eyes, become larger, more expressive. This is the dinosauroid. A thought experiment proposed by paleontologist Dale Russell in 1982, he envisioned a creature that was the logical endpoint of dinosaur evolution, a bipedal, tuliosing, intelligent being. It would have a reptilian face, no lips, and communicate through bird-like chirps and whistles. Its skin would be leathery, its body slender and tall. It would have three fingers on each hand, perfectly adapted for grasping. This wasn't just a fantasy. It was a scientific hypothesis based on evolutionary trends. The Truden already had the building blocks for intelligence. All it needed was time. So, when you look at the night sky, remember this. In an alternate timeline, a very different kind of being might be looking back. A civilization not of mammals, but of reptiles. Cities of stone and scale, built by the children of the dinosaurs. They would be the dominant species on this planet. They would be us. And if they existed, they would see our arrival as the coming of a new invasive species. We were never meant to be here. This was their world. And if evolution had taken a slightly different path, we might have been their prey.